Now, when I first met Minnie in season 12, she and her husband, Lon, were on the show with their 17-year-old son, Andrew. Minnie was convinced Andrew's biological father, David, tried to kidnap Andrew from the hospital where he was recovering from a self-inflicted gunshot. Now, Andrew said he shot himself to escape physical and mental abuse at the hands of Minnie and Lon. In 2014, Minnie and Lon's three young children, eight, seven, and three years old, were removed from their home and put in foster care. Now, Lon and Minnie came back to the show in season 13 to find out how to get their children back. Take a look. Life was really good until I turned seven. That's when my mom married Lon. Lon physically and mentally abused me every day. My mom would be in the room while my dad was beating me. She never did anything to stop it. Lon, let me ask you something. Is that true? This child's never been abused, Dr. Phil. Are you telling the truth here? Words can't describe how bad it actually was. On November 9, 2012, my son tried to kill himself by shooting himself point blank in the chest. Why did you shoot yourself? I did it because of you and the house I was in. My mom is neglectful, hateful, crazy. I testified about the physical abuse, the verbal abuse, the marijuana, the alcohol. My mother would lock my little sister in the closet when she cried. They called her the closet baby. You said when DHS took your seven-year-old sister, she had day-old feces in her pants. Yes. No. Um, Dr. Phil, that was an exaggeration. That is not an exaggeration. She did not. Why did they get Why? Annoyed? Because you're a liar. It happens every day, Andrew, and she says you're starved on national TV. Lied. You were never starved, and that you were beaten every day. You were never beaten every day. You were starved, Andrew? You want to tell everybody no, that you were starved? No, sit here and talk to me. Mine. You were. You did emotionally abuse him. Why don't you give I'm him that? Why don't you starved. apologize for how you treated him? I give you up, did Andrew. Treat when, you became, him wrong. when you became a drunk hothead, I give up. You! You! You can't look me in the eyes, can you? Oh, can I you can, tell me? Andrew, I can you look you in the me. eyes. I can look you in the eyes, Andrew. You are pitiful. You're a coward. Bit. That's what you are. You've had restraining orders against him. We're at this point separated, and we filed for divorce. I did have one restraining order that I did um, remove. Do you want your children back? Yes, absolutely. You've got to acknowledge the fact that there were things going on that needed not to go on. You need to show insight that you understand the impact that has on the children. And are you willing to do what it takes to do Yes, that? I am. Yes, absolutely. It's been four years since Minnie's three children were taken away from her. Did she get them back? Does she have a relationship with her oldest son, Andrew? And how is her husband, Lon, doing? Well, take a look. Minnie, it's good to talk to you again. You too. Tell me how you're doing. Well, I am being a mom. I'm a student. And I'm still trying to get my, um, my six-year-old back. OK, and your six-year-old right now is with DHS, correct? So that would mean in foster care? Yes, as well as my nine-year-old. Are they together? Or they are you... in separate homes. Now, you do have two children with you right now, right? You have an infant and a 10-year-old. Yes, I do. I have custody of them. How's the 10-year-old doing? He is doing amazing. When he first came home, he was very violent, very aggressive, destroying property. I had to call the police every week. Wow. Um, they were about to lock him up for a year in a residential facility. And at this point, you're working with DHS, is that correct? Because when you were on before, you were at war with them and I was advising you that they were not the enemy, you need to take a different approach. The problem that DHS has with you is that you're hostile towards them. If you guys want your children back, you're gonna have to comply with the rules, whether you like them or whether you don't, and you're going to have to be 100% transparent. How's that working for you? You were correct with that, Dr. Phil. Um, my caseworker and I are very close. But I believe that the reason that I have gotten my children back is because of that relationship I have with my caseworker. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad that you heeded that advice because there's no way to win that war. So you have to work with them. And truly, they are about unifying families. Now, you were married when you were on the show before to Lon. Are you two still together? No, we are not together. We did get a divorce. The only contact that we have is about the children for supervised visitation, but I prefer not to have contact with him. Okay.